Hey guys, this is Kristen at Cooking in the County, and today I'm going to show you how I make my New England boiled dinner. I use corned beef for mine. My family absolutely loves corned beef, so that's what I'm going to use today. Uh, this is a three pound corned beef. Okay. It's, kind, it's a really fatty meat, so it needs to cook for a very long time. And it comes with like a little packet, and you want to add your little packet to it. Okay, you got to make sure your crock pot is the right size for all this. If not, just adjust it to how um, big your crock pot is, okay? So, first thing we're going to do is wash and peel our potatoes, peel our carrots, get our onion cut up and our cabbage, and we'll be back and throw it in here five to six hours and your dinner is done. That's how easy and simple this recipe is. I don't know if this is the right thing or not, but I always peel my potatoes before I rinse them because they're always too slippery for me. So I peel them first, then I rinse them. That's probably completely wrong and I'm sure there's something wrong with doing that, but that's how I do. They're just too slippery, especially when they're small like this. So there's only about, there's gonna be three of us eating it. If Abby and Josiah decide to cook their own supper, then that will be five, but I doubt it. So I'm gonna do like two potatoes a piece, two small potatoes a piece. I've got about six carrots. We really do love carrots and a full cabbage. We'll see if the full cabbage can actually fit in the crock pot. Sometimes it can't, but it will wilt down eventually and all of it will fill, fit. But We'll see. <laughs> While I'm peeling and doing this, I turn my crock pot on high. I just like to have it really nice and warm by the time we get everything in there. And then we're gonna actually add hot water to it to get it started and going really don't need to add any salt to this either because the brisket is extremely salty. You can add pepper or any other seasoning you want. It does come with a little spice uh, packet that I always use. Gives it good flavor. rough cut your onion, cut it in fours. I just keep the little bottom on it, just keep it kind of holding, hold itself together throughout the cooking. You just want the flavor of it. I mean, you can eat it if you want. is our cabbage. You obviously don't want that. So we're going to cut that piece off. I'm going to cut it in fours. We'll see how well it fits in the crock pot. It depends on your size. This seems to be quite a large one. I'm going to cut it this way too. Ooh, that onion is burning my eyes. Okay, this is fine. So then there's still a core of your cabbage in that. We're gonna cut that out. Gone.
Okay, it's time to now assemble, and this is really the hardest part to make sure everything fits in your crock pot. So as we been, have been preparing, I have my crock pot, I have it on high, so it's nice and warm when I start adding all my ingredients, okay? So if you're doing a corned beef, you can see that there's a lot of this red juice that's not blood. It, it, it's a, a sauce or like a something they put the corned beef in and you want that, okay? That's not blood, so put that in there as well because that's going to give you a lot of flavoring. It's kind of messy, so... So there's going to be a little packet in here as well that you're going to want to add to your corned beef. And I'll see if I can get it before pouring it in here. Okay, so you want all that red stuff. Don't worry, it's not blood. Okay. It looks gross, but it's not. So there's a little pack. It looks like a bunch of like little peppercorns, and I think that is exactly what it is. Peppercorns and other things. So just add that right to the top. And you want to add your corned beef first before your vegetables. Uh, some people do the corned beef, let that cook for like four or five hours, then put the vegetables. I don't feel like the vegetables get cooked enough in time. So I put them all together. Um, anyway, okay. Corned beef has a fatty a fatty bottom, put the fatty bottom down so that fat will cook off while it's cooking, okay? Okay, so the hard part is getting this all in there, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is add the potatoes. They're peeled. My potatoes are small. If your potatoes are bigger, like kind of cut them, but make them small so they can cook. And we're gonna just start putting them around the meat. And I'll take a picture of it so you can see better. I'm doing my potatoes all around. This is gonna cook, I'm gonna say five to six hours until your meat is nice and tender and falling apart. Veg uh, carrots, cut on top, throw your onion in. A lot of people like uh, turnip as well. You can add that. No one here really likes turnip, so we're not adding turnip. Okay, now we're gonna squish it down. This is all gonna cook down, so don't worry about that. We have cabbage that needs to sit in here. This cabbage will cook down eventually. It will all fit, but right now it doesn't look like it's gonna. It was a pretty big cabbage, so. Like I said, this is the hardest part. So I'm probably gonna just put this much in right now and I'll keep an eye on it and I'll put the rest in once it wilts down. Okay, then I add about four cups, we'll see how it fills it all up, of very warm water. It, you can be boiling if you want. It just helps us all get started, okay? And the steam I think really helps instead of adding cold water. About, so about four cups. See how it fills. Okay. And we're gonna put the cover on it. And we're gonna let it cook on high. I cook it on high. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cover on. Make sure it's on tight. And like I said, I'm gonna watch it throughout the day and once it starts wilting down, I'm gonna finish adding the rest of my cabbage. This doesn't take long to cook, so that's not a big deal. Okay guys, we'll be back in about five to six hours and show you how delicious this corned beef is.
All right, it's been five hours since our boiled dinner has been cooking. I've taken out the cabbage, carrots, and potatoes. So now we're gonna take out the corned beef and get it kind of sliced up. It's looking very tender. the grain like you can see the lines of it going this way so we're gonna cut it against the grain okay. very tender now to me this with like some spicy mustard is so good that's my favorite way of eating it I think everybody has their own way of eating corned beef. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. And you can do this with a ham. You don't have to do this with a corned beef. Do exactly the same way. Obviously, there's no little spice packet. So add some salt to it. Okay, guys. Here's your corned beef. You can see it good, but it's nice and juicy. Delicious. so tender and salty. We're just going to plate it up. Here, put it all on the cart. Okay, there you guys go. Boiled dinner. Hope you love it and enjoy it. See you guys.